Hey guys, it's Hannah here. Um, I am on my way to the slaughterhouse. It's Friday around 10 a.m. in Toronto. It's actually a really nice and sunny day out. Um, it's not a very good day for these animals to be forced into the slaughterhouse, onto the kill floor, to have their throat slit hung upside down, cut into pieces and packaged for supermarkets for humans to eat, but it is a how do you say it's a good day whenever the animals are being slaughtered? I don't... I don't know. So I'm on my way to the cow slaughterhouse today. There is never really a way to predict what's going to happen whenever I get there, if I am actually going to see animals, if I am going to be able to collect footage. Um, I, the trucks could be stopped, parked whenever there's other transports loading in and doing construction in the loading dock. Um, sometimes they sit there for up to a half hour. It totally depends on the driver. Um, Last week I actually went there and I basically chased the slaughter truck out of the slaughterhouse. He was afraid, he had something to hide, I don't know if he just wasn't used to me being there. Um, but he left. I waited for another 20 minutes and he never came back so I have no idea. But then there's this other driver who will just leave his truck there unattended for like up to a half hour and just let me spend time with the animals. Um, he thinks it's funny, he makes jokes like, oh, did you get enough footage, oh, like, thinking it's funny that I'm out there, they can laugh all they want, I don't think it's that funny. Um, yeah, so I guess let's just go see what happens today. Peter, are you with a different organization? <laughs> no, I'm with my own organization. Which is? Um, it's actually called Sympathy Out Slaughter. Oh, okay. But I just photograph the animals. Yeah. We're just those three up at the front. And then uh, I post them online just to kind of give the animals a story and a voice and make sure that they don't go unnoticed or undocumented. Just trying to individualize them. And, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> uh. According to you guys, we don't think. <laughs> I never said that. No, I know you didn't. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not here to target you necessarily. It's, no, I understand it's your job. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, if I'm not here to, I, I guess I've talked to you before here one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here a lot. Um, but yeah, if I'm not here to like document the animals, then people don't see their faces online, and like it just I'm just trying to provide that documentation and create a storyline. We have our those ones that right at the front that you pictured. They're they're just big steers. But yeah. You know, some of the other ones we are just basically old cows that are on their last leg anyway. Yeah. But they, I, they need to be euthanized anyway. I've seen 
dairy, you bring dairy cows here before, right? Well, whatever I think the, the one time? Yeah. Do you own a farm? No. Or? no, I own a farm, yes, but not these ones. Oh, okay. I own farms, yes, and they have cattle, but yeah. uh, I own a dairy farm and we just truck for everybody else. Oh, okay, cool. That makes sense. Yeah. It's nice of him to actually come over and engage in conversation. I think that's just the coolest thing. I wish I'd have caught it on camera. Um, the one driver that I was just talking to, he just pulled up and rolled down his window and he was like, did you say sympathy from slaughter or sympathy at slaughter? And I was like, at. And then he's like, thought I'd check it out. So, I don't know. I think that's really cool. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's really cool. I'm really excited that he came up and actually had a nice conversation. And it just goes to show that if you treat these people with respect, they're just going to treat you with respect right back. There's no need to yell. I don't know, I'm not here to ruin anyone's day. I'm just here to collect the footage of... Oh, okay. I'm headed home now. The two trucks have... Um... Actually, there were three trucks there that I was with. One truck had... The trucker referred to them as steers up front. And then there were baby lambs in the back and dairy cows in the middle, so... <sighs> two other trucks were just full of Angus beef, I guess. Um... Just like the black cows. It's just so heartbreaking. It's funny. Last week I recorded a video pretty similar to this, walking down the street saying about the farmers and if they had a perspective on the cows, maybe they'd feel differently about it. I'm honestly not so sure of that at this point. I'm not sure. I just think that they're so disconnected they don't even think about it. I don't even know if they can think about it, especially someone like the man that I was just talking to who is like probably over 75. I don't know if he's ever going to change his ways or what I can do to make him see these animals differently. still think it was pretty cool though that that trucker came up and asked to see my photos. Um, he's done that before and I've shown him my photos before. It's usually a pretty cool experience just to what he has to say and see the look on his face. I'm headed home now, I guess. Gotta edit all the footage, create this into a vlog, um, let you guys know what exactly happened here today in Toronto at the slaughterhouse and who exactly it happened to. I never forget the faces that I see, even like today it was momentary. It seemed brief, but those few minutes, they affect my entire life. Every single moment that I spend with an animal affects me moving forward. It makes me push harder, it makes me fight harder, it makes that fire inside of me burn stronger. Just getting out there, collecting this footage, showing you guys the truth of who these animals are, what they're going through, the reality that isn't seen on a day-to-day -day basis but is happening in your city, in your town, all over the world. So, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, uh, until next time then, um, well, today's Friday, so I won't be out at a slaughterhouse again until Monday. Um, I'm actually coming here with my friend Mariah, who's joining me, um, so stay tuned for that. Until then, it's been a heartbreaking afternoon, as usual. Um, I'll never forget, never forget, and I look forward to sharing my footage with all of you. Hopefully you'll share it with everyone you know, too. We'll change the world one step at a time.